the next question is a developer is creating an application that will be deployed on lot devices the application will send data to a restful api that is deployed as an aws lambda function the application will assign each api request a unique identifier the volume of api requests from the application can randomly increase at any given time of day during periods of request throttling the application might need to retry requests the api must be able to handle duplicate requests without inconsistencies or data loss which solution will meet this requirements option a create an amazon rds for my sql db instance store the unique identifier for each request in a database table modify the lambda function to check the table for the identifier before processing the request option b create an amazon dynamo db table store the unique identifier for each request in the table modify the lambda function to check the table for the identifier before processing the request option c create an amazon dynamo db table store the unique identifier for each request in the table modify the lambda function to return a client error responses when the function receives a duplicate request option d create an amazon elastic catch for mem catch instance store the unique identifier for each request in the catch modify the lambda function to check the catch for the identifier before processing the request the correct answer is b the next question is a developer wants to expand an application to run in multiple aws regions the developer wants to copy amazon machine images amis with the latest changes and create a new application stack in the destination region according to company requirements all amis must be encrypted in all regions however not all the amis that the company uses are encrypted how can the developer expand the application to run in that destination region while meeting the encryption requirement option a create new mis and specify encryption parameters copy the encrypted amis to the destination region delete the unencrypted amis option b use the aws key management service aws kms to enable encryption on the unencrypted amis copy the encrypted amis to the destination region option c use aws certificate manager acm to enable encryption on the unencrypted amis copy the unencrypted amis to the destination region option d copy the unencrypted amis to the destination region enable encryption by default in the destination region correct answer is a the next question is a company hosts a client side web application for one of its subsidiaries on amazon s3 the web application can be accessed through amazon cloud front from https www.example.com after a successful rollout the company wants to host three more client side web applications for its remaining subsidiaries on three separate s3 buckets to achieve this goal a developer moves all the common javascript files and web fonts to a central s3 bucket that serves the web applications however during testing the developer noticed that the browsers blocks the javascript files and web fonts
What should the developer do to prevent the browsers from blocking the JavaScript files and web front? Option A. Create four access points that allow access the, to the central S3 bucket. Assign an access point to each web application bucket. Option B. Create a bucket policy that allows access to the central S3 bucket. Attach the bucket policy to the central S3 bucket. Option C. Create a cross-origin resource sharing. CORS. Configuration that allows access to the central S3 bucket. Add the CORS configuration to the central S3 bucket. Option D. Create a content MD5 header that provides a message integrity check for the central S3 bucket. Insert the content MD5 header for each application. Request. The correct answer is C.